Our next team comes from Australia, 13-year-old Rene Ewan and 14-year-old Oliver Ma. They were 11th in week one in Bangkok. They'll need a 95.99 to take the lead. The personal best is 53.32. They'll skate to fly me to the moon. Rene Yuan and Oliver Ma from Australia. And I had a message from their coach, Ted John Dunn, who's just saying how glad that he was that we can see Rene what potential Yuen. they have and what an exciting prospect it is for Australian ice dance. Obviously, Holly Harris and Jason Chan doing incredibly well in the senior ranks. But this uh, very much homegrown team in the making and these experiences on the Junior Grand Prix will be pivotal in an exponential improvement for them. Yes, I also received a very nice note from John uh, today as well, which w he felt it was so nice to be recognized, not only the kids, of course, the work that all the coaches do. So he was very appreciative that that the ISU is recognizing skaters from around the world, no matter what stage of development they're at, and the work of the coaches. So we thank you for that note, John. Well done, and mm. we need people committed 
to develop these outbeats as we take a look at the pull through into the twizzles just a little out of sync there and just little small details to be worked on pointed toes and things like that but that this is normal for juniors yeah and fortunate really for Renee Oliver that they have a coach that has the uh, foresight to consider what the future will hold and John was pivoting perpetually involved in Spanish ice dance evolution and he worked with Sara Hurtado and Adrian Diaz and that went on to be something that was a really exciting factor in Spanish ice dance. This curve lift, the commitment to her back mm, bend features, yeah. she was, <laughs> you can tell that's been she worked was going, and developed. She's going, you better hold on because I'm bending back yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> you be ready, boy. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, well done. You know, it's so hard when these uh, skaters are so young to uh, put that emotional commitment into a performance, let alone worry about all the technical details that they have to think about as well. It's complicated. Ice dance, I think, in some ways is more complicated earlier on because you're trying to, you have to have performance uh, in, yeah. in ice dance. You have to have a commitment to the music and the emotion and the character, all that. In singles, you can get away with just the jumps and spins when you're early on in the development stage, not in dance. You kind of need to be working on it all. Not easy. Yeah, and we just we take it as as for granted and expected that skaters will patiently express an emotion. And yet, as you say, it's not. It's not a standard procedure that somebody would get out there and show a whole host of different mediums with their face to express the music. And this young team, you know, already mindful of it. Particularly young men. I mean, I think it's a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put that in a category, but I think, you know, just to... You're learning the skills, and then you have to perform as well and showcase. And you know, it, you know the stage. These are 13, 14, 15 years of age. It's a it's a lot to ask, but it you know they really do a wonderful job. The coaches do in slowly bringing these teams along and these skaters along uh, with the emotional connection to the music. You know, at the right stage, they'll be ready at some, at some point, of course. <laughs> well, 53.3. Sorry, go ahead, Mark. I, I, I was just going to say, Ted, you can see Oliver just vibing to the background music, so maybe it's innate yeah. in him. He's already got it. He's already got it. 53.32 is the personal best. Well, here it is, the season's best of 55.65. And that'll put Renee and Oliver currently into fourth place. So well done moving those scores up and continuing on the development path. 